thing we're going to talk about when it comes to cutting is brush selection. Now this is a little bit individualistic, but I think there are some general guidelines that will help most people out. One of the things we've noticed when it comes to the differences between cheap brushes and more expensive brushes is the thickness of the brush. So you can see that the one in my right hand is significantly thicker than the brush in my left. Now that's going to change a little bit with the type of bristle and the company of brush that you purchase, but we recommend going for a thinner brush because when this gets saturated with paint, it's going to be a much thinner line that you're able to create with this than you would with a thicker brush. Now the other thing you want to look at is the stiffness of the bristle. So my personal recommendation is to go with a firm or extra firm bristle and always with an angled sash. So our brush of choice right now is a two and a half inch extra firm Wooster. But again, that sort of depends on you. If you prefer a Corona or you prefer some other kind of brush, that's fine, go with that. The technique I'm gonna show you works with any brush really, but we prefer to use an extra firm two and a half inch brush with an angled sash. That's probably a good place to start. So if you don't have a good brush, go and get one. It'll make your paint finish a lot better.